You've probably noticed that Evernote has a new look. It has a new design, new color schemes, but has it really helped the user experience? We'll take a look. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Well, in addition to this segment, I have a lot of other advice and demos in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Now, that's a little bit of a misnomer. It's not just for beginners, but it'll help get a new user started and serves as a reminder for those of us who have used it for some time. Check out the course, Evernote for Beginners, at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses. So much of the focus on the part of the folks at Evernote in recent months has been debugging the app, they've been rewriting the code that powers the app, and they've been working on making sure that it runs faster and is more reliable. So they've just introduced what I consider to be the first major upgrade to the look of Evernote in quite a long time. It's been outlined in a blog post, and I will post the link to that post in the notes. But let's walk through what Evernote says about this new look. It says, you might be wondering why it's important for us to spend time on a project of this nature when our main priority is to improve Evernote's speed and reliability. The answer is that not one or the other, both efforts coexist in harmony without competing for resources. We're also mindful that the ultimate touch point with our customers is the UI and not the code. So a modern, smooth, and visually satisfying interface is a great complement to the behind the scenes work we do and yet another way to make the entire Evernote experience as great as it can be. I guess that makes sense. I mean, when they're rewriting the code, probably didn't take a whole lot of extra work to do some redesigning along the way. Now, of course, many of us didn't think the app needed a wholesale redesign, but the folks at Bending Spoons, who now own Evernote, obviously looked at the app and they wanted to make some changes. Uh, I understand it, it's not a really big change. I mean, it's not going to require uh, everyone to relearn how to use Evernote. But let's take a look. Here's the home page before the change. And I'm using the graphic that Evernote used to roll out this feature. And now the new look. Here's the notes list before. And we see some cosmetic changes now. Here's tasks before and tasks cleaned up. Here's the way your notebook list used to look. And here's how it looks now. And if you use the website version, that got a refresh too. The subtle changes in the font, the new default font, which they're calling Inter, I-N-T-E-R, according to Evernote, improves note readability without compromising information density, as it's more readable than the previous default sans serif pro, while occupying almost the exact amount of pixel space. And actually, they've, they've been tinkering with this. Uh, when they first rolled out a, a beta of the new design, uh, a number of Evernote experts said, hey, you know what, there's a lot of white space. You could, And they've been tinkering with that layout. And and it's looking better now. But look, I've learned in my life that change takes some time to get used to, and not everyone is in love with this change. For me, the jury is out. Like, as I said, I wasn't entirely sure that it needed a wholesale uh, change. And frankly, I'm not used to the new home dashboard. Uh, I've had some problems with it loading a little bit slower, and I don't know if that's just my computer and my internet connection, um, but it, it just seems to take a little bit longer to load up, but nowhere near as long as the, uh, as the web version took to load up uh, just a few months ago before they made changes to the code. And I'm missing some of the contrast features. Now, I know I'm going to get used to, uh, used to all these changes. Uh, in fact, I've been using Evernote so long that I remember uh, when they had these little beige, fake little notebooks instead of the list of notebooks that we have right now. And when that changed, I missed the little notebook logos. Now, in retrospect, I couldn't imagine using them. So I'm sure I'm going to get used to these changes, too. 
And I'm also sure that uh, the Evernote folks are going to continue to tweak things. In fact, they've asked folks to post their comments on their forum, which I suggest that you do as well. But in the meantime, I'd like to know what you think about the new user interface, the new home page for Evernote. Leave your thoughts below. I'd really appreciate hearing from you.